This is the Apple Vision Pro, and this is my studio looking through the Vision Pro. I can put my DAW anywhere I want it, and I've got a virtual Moog synth right here. In this video, I'll show you all the coolest things you can do with the Vision Pro in your music studio today, and some things you can't do yet. Let's get started. First of all, most music producers are creating music on a computer, so to start, I'll talk about my experience using Vision Pro with my Mac laptop, and then we'll look at Moog Synth built for Vision Pro and some other useful apps that can enhance your music production workflow. So I can look at my Mac, click on Connect, and now I have the full screen mirrored in the Vision Pro, and I can put it anywhere I want it. This is the feature I was looking forward to most, and well, there's some good and bad. So how does my DAW look using the Vision Pro? Things look excellent. The screen recordings just don't do it justice. Things actually look better in real life, if I can even call it real life. So two big things. First of all, I can make the mirrored screen huge. I can resize it using the corners and I can use the bar at the bottom to move it in and out of space or position it anywhere. Having my DAW screen above my keyboard is super cool. But is this a game changer? Well, not quite. Using the Vision Pro means that you have this headset on your head all the time. It's heavy, but pretty comfortable. And you are limited by the battery life, which is around two hours. So this is not an all day solution unless you're tethered to power. So yeah, you're going to be using your regular monitor more than this. Also, your speakers are probably positioned for one listening position where your regular computer monitor is. But I should say things look excellent through the Vision Pro. It's mirroring your laptop screen and it looks sharp and clear, totally fine for using for an extended period of time. And you can zoom into a waveform or any part of the screen. Pretty cool. And I can interact with my studio as well. I can interact with other instruments, I can walk around, and latency is extremely low, so things feel very natural. And this is one of the best features, moving your screen anywhere you want. So I can have my screen above my piano, over a synth, or while playing guitar. This wasn't possible before. Super cool to have this at any viewing angle. Now, you can't have more than one screen. That would have been really nice. Imagine having your timeline in one screen and a plugin in a separate space. Hopefully they make that possible at some point. Okay, so here's the biggest drawback to the screen mirroring from your MacBook. You can't interact with the mirrored screen with Vision Pro gestures. So you can't use your eyes to point or your fingers to click things. And Siri built into the Vision Pro can't help either. But I can, you're for your service, Sanjay C. I have to rely on my keyboard and trackpad to do any interactions. I would have loved to have air clicked on the record button anywhere in my studio rather than relying on the trackpad. Hopefully this is something that they can change in the future. Now, if you run Logic Pro, you can use Logic Remote on your iPad, which makes things nicely wireless. In fact, for Ableton, I found this app called Dock Control, which gives me wireless control of Ableton on my Mac, and I still have the huge screen in the Vision Pro to follow along. I really hope that they come up with an app that improves this DAW workflow at some point. By the way, what would you love to do with the Vision Pro in your studio? If you have some cool ideas, leave them in the comments below. Now, one nice thing is privacy. You can be working on your Mac on a plane or in a coffee shop and no one can see what you're doing. Screen mirroring in those scenarios would actually be pretty cool. Now, the small integrated speakers on the Vision Pro sound 
pretty good. Totally fine for watching a movie and listening to music, but what about mixing? They sound okay. I wouldn't trust my mix with these, but since they are spatial capable, this could be a sort of expensive solution if you want to try mixing spatial in Logic Pro. This is not going to sound like your favorite mixing headphones. Okay, so what about instruments built for the Vision Pro? Well, at the time of this recording, there's only one that I know about. Let's check it out next. Before we do, if you're writing songs and producing music at home, you should share them with the world. It's super easy to get your music out there using DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. DistroKid lets you upload your music to Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, YouTube Music, pretty much everywhere. Best of all, they make it really easy. Just upload your track, add some artwork, and they do the rest. DistroKid also collects earnings for you when your listeners play or purchase your music, and they help you market your music with tools built right in. A hyperfollow page lets you share your releases with your friends on Facebook or anywhere you can share a link, and they can follow you to get notified on your upcoming releases. I've actually created two videos on DistroKid that will probably answer any question you have. You can watch that video right here, and if you're ready to sign up, you can use the link below to get 7% off your first year of membership. So Moog released the Animoog Galaxy specifically made for Vision Pro. Here it is. You can adjust parameters with the Vision Pro gestures. You can actually move these visuals to affect the sound in an X, Y, and Z axis. This really makes sense in this 3D space. I've got the full view of the Animoog Galaxy up right now. Beautiful. They've included a sequencer with this, and you can use this with a MIDI controller as well. This kind of seems like a Gen 1 app, but things work pretty well. I think this gives us a little peek into the possibility and hats off to Moog for creating something that works this well so soon. Out of the box, you can install iPad apps on the Vision Pro. I installed N-Track and it works pretty well. Now, since this is made for the iPad, eye tracking is good, not great. It follows my eyes and I can use the Vision Pro gestures, but it doesn't always give me visual feedback to show me what I'm looking at and what I'm about to select. I can still record multiple tracks and use all the controls. Everything is quite nice. What about productivity apps? Honestly, while I was using the Vision Pro around my studio, I saw this screen overlay over my microphone and thought to myself, this is a nice solution for having lyrics when you're recording vocals. It's like a $3,500 notepad. What about other productivity apps? Can Vision Pro improve your music production workflow outside of tools built specifically for music? Well, at this time, there's not much else to do with this in your music studio. Many of the things I showed you are just a start, a glimpse at what will be possible one day. For now, Vision Pro is best with the apps that are made for it. When Ableton makes Live for Vision Pro or Apple gives us some Vision Pro gestures for Logic Pro, things will start to get very interesting. So should you get one of these for music production? The short answer is, no. At the price of $3,500, it's overkill and not quite useful for music studios yet. But this is much more about enjoyment of other VR, AR things like watching movies, playing games, but it's a taste of what the future of music production could become. Now, for Apple ecosystem people, you will have fun with the Vision Pro in your studio and for other things. Apple has done an excellent job integrating this with the Mac book and other Apple products. And I see a future for a device like this in my music studio space. And I'll keep you posted as things develop more. You'll be seeing these on the channel again. Until then, make the music you love, and I'll see you later.